Alrighty, what is going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel for another market update. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. And let's get into the TA. Alright guys, so we are at a pivotal spot. If you do not hold this zone right here, we are going to come down here to the 497.37 gap. We're going to fill that. And we're probably going to catch a bid from down there. And at that point, this daily RSI is going to be all the way down here. We do have some things right now that we've had, all right? But, you know, now we have some more things suggesting, guys, we're going to be getting a, a bounce back up. Things don't go straight down. And I'm just going to say you're either going to bounce from here or you're going to come down here and bounce from here. So that's what I'm going to start the video off with. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put on extended hours. And I'm going to point out you do have this four-hour bullish divergence going on here uh, right from... You know, the zone we just talked about over there. All right, so you got that going on. And then I want to come over here. We're going to put on, you know, regular hours. So you do also have this bullish divergence going on here on the hourly RSI. So that's something to note right there. And then on the 15-minute time frame, all right, you got the same thing. So you did bounce out of here, all right? So out of this little range you've been in for, you know, quite some time now. It's been... Okay, not quite some time, but, you know, a whole, a whole day here. We've been in this range. A whole 24 hours. You just saw it. All right. We're starting to get a pop out of that range. I think if we, you know, come back to right here, I think we're pro probably going to see it bounce from here. But I'm just going to come over here, guys. You know, VIX is right here at this downtrend. It can break out here. But it's much more likely that it does not break out here. And it starts to get crushed. And it comes all the way back down here. And what do we get in that case? We're going to get a bounce over here on SPY, and the ES, SPX, whatever you want to trade, all right? The VIX is directly correlated to that. So if VIX is going to come down, which I think it's very likely that VIX does come down from where it's at right now, back down to over here. If that does become the case, that means SPY is going to get a bounce back. Now we're going to come over here to uh, DIA, all right? And DIA, guys is another thing that just is looking kind of bouncy to me. All right, you do have this four-hour bullish divergence going on over here. You're at the bottom of this parallel channel going on right here. And you're also at the same spot you broke out from all the way over here. You know, you got the daily RSI oversold. You definitely can sell. We had real, you can tell we have real selling going on. So people are panic selling, getting rid of their positions. Typically, guys, people aren't buying the bottoms. All right. I do think we have, you know, a lot of stuff here suggested we're probably going to be catching a bounce from right around where we are, all right? I told you when we started getting over here in IWM, I don't know where it's going to happen in this uh, the zone here, which is just going to be your golden pocket. It's not really a zone. Uh, your golden pocket between, you know, we're just going to say 197 and 192.75. I don't know where it's going to be, but you're probably going to, you know, bounce back from in this zone. You have not bounced back so far. But I still think that is going to be the case. And you do still have this like ball and wedge pattern going on here. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Yeah, that. Eh, yeah, some, something's going on there, you know? Go like that. All right. But at the same time, guys, we have a lot of these four hour RSIs just in spots where they normally bounce. So I do think it's very likely we are going to be catching a bid back up. All right. You come over here to QQ. Same thing, guys. You're in the golden pocket. There's that. All right. You uh, are finding sellers stepping right over there. All right. But let's uh, take off extended hours. And guess what? You had this bullish diverge going on right here. And you did end up starting getting a pop. Now, you do also have this going on. You have like a quadruple bullish diverge going on over here on uh, QQQ. Started going on all the way over there. So yeah, guys, I do think we're going to get a, we're, we're probably going to begin to bounce. We've had this range. You're starting to break up on uh, SPY and QQ over here. All right. So let's just take off the golden pocket. We know we're bouncing in the golden pocket, guys. But you got the top of this range. You're really, uh, really do, you, do you see what I see? Because this is what I see. All right. I told you guys, probably going to get a bounce back. All right. Now, guys, there are a lot of things that are looking real bullish. We're going to talk about some tickers that are just, I think are looking real good. And I don't think they're like you know anywhere close to the end of their run i think you know as this thing crushes i think we're going to see a, a broad market bounce here so there's going to be that as far as daa goes all right you're getting buyers stepping in 
go over here and as you dip down into this zone again you're getting buy, uh, buyers right there at the 0.786 fib iwm's in its golden pocket come over here to spy that's in its golden pocket it's not loading right now i don't know why um but if you're taking it from right here okay we're you know just kind of going up if you do something like that all right but over here you get the same thing on qq so they're all like you know right there where they could be very likely getting these bounces and then we also have those momentum indicators justin you know we could be getting those bounces which in my case is just going to be the rsi but i'm sure if you looked at you know any momentum indicator you're probably having a ton of divergences that's just typically what you know people use them for all right guys so where are we going to be looking for a bounce back to if we if it comes from right here well that means that this low is in already and we're going to be looking for a move up in here to uh the golden pocket but what do we have to get past first we got to get past the supply zone which goes from 509 like you know 20 there down to our 508 12 level which is going to be the low of this candlestick nope low of no way it's a wrong level bring it back up bring it up like that what, what is this uh 508 36 i can't believe that look at that all right we went like that all right it's perfect though okay guys so we got to get past 50836 above there we are looking for a move up to 51209 and that is just the low of this candle stick right there all right guys so that is where i honestly think we are heading on spy let's say we don't hold the zone right here okay we don't hold where we broke out from right over here you can clear as they see on the daily time frame you're just looking for buyers down here at 497.37. At that point, you do have yourself a major low, right? People were looking for the major pullback. I don't think you're getting down there right away, all right? You could do that, but it's much more likely that you're going to do something. Honestly, probably, <laughs> you know, simple as day. I told you guys when we got our big fat red bar that we could be getting this kind of action stepping in right here. That was our warning sign. And... um yeah, all right. People just look at me as a perm bull, but in reality, you know, when I see things, I, I have definitely said things on the channel, and I think people just like to forget because, you know, maybe you are just way more bearish than I am. But yeah, I'm looking for bounce opportunities. That That is that. Um, all right, so there's that, okay? On QQQ, what are we going to be paying attention to? Well, if it bounces back from right now, from like right here, you're looking at the golden pocket from where you just fell off a cliff from, which is going to be right over here. All right, so 437.50 to 439.50. That's really what you're paying attention to over there. Holy sweet baby Jesus. All right, let's get into some individual tickers, guys. We have SMCI. This thing is uh, going haywire. This is definitely something we put on your radar. Uh, you know, as it came down here, we were watching it over here. We're watching it right here. You got the bullish divergence inside the golden pocket. And on this bounce, you really found buyers again in the golden pocket. And now you're exploding. All right. I'm salty. I didn't take this one. I wanted the, uh, uh, what's it called? The 426, uh, 1,100 calls is what I was paying attention to. And it looks like they're over 1,500 bucks. I was watching them when they were not that expensive. So there's that. Um, but yeah you come over here to meta all right this is another one now we do have earnings right around the corner so you know this thing i'm not going to say it's going to do anything crazy like it did over here right but you know if there's a spot that it's going to start bouncing back from it's going to be right here all right so if we really do get you know qqq stepping up by stepping up which you know we're going right here then uh yeah all right guys we're we're looking uh we're looking pretty good on some some individual tickers like smti is breaking out right here right now meta is in the perfect spot to bounce back over the coming training session so you know if that becomes the case uh, you know we're going to be watching these gray levels right here 510 5 uh all the way up here if you get past here i mean this was your range you're probably coming up uh you know 520 um pretty straight shot there you come over here to mr nvidia you know not looking too bad uh, buyers right here in your cold pocket we're watching it over there guess what found buyers did not come down here but you know this thing doesn't look bad at all guys a lot of tickers do not look bad disney all right i'm going to direct your attention to the weekly time frame right here where you broke out from all right right over here right over here you're finding buyers there you could very clearly see it on the weekly time frame and if you look on the daily time frame from where you ran your impulsive move right there pull the pocket 
0.786 fib. That's where you find it buyers right now. You come over the four hour time frame, you got this bullish to purge. We definitely pointed out, I think in yesterday's video, come over here. All right. You can have a downtrend to watch. You could do that. Or you could go like that. It's up to you. But uh, I think there is uh, definitely a setup here. And I think it's probably going to get cooking. And if you put it in a hammer candlestick this week, I think there's a solid chance you uh, rise to the occasion over the coming uh, coming coming weeks. There's that. All right, guys. Uh, next thing I'm going to put on your radar is Carvana over here. All right, guys. So this thing is actually looking pretty sexy, but I would like it to come down a little further. I honestly don't think it's going to get down here, but uh, definitely one that you could be watching. I, yeah, I, I really don't think it's going to get down here. Let's look at it this way. You broke out over here. You did not make it over there. You just kind of had that. We do have this this downtrend to pay attention to there. You want to watch on the uh, you know hourly time frame right here. Let's see what you could be paying attention to. Mm, yeah, I mean, I guess it already started. There's that. Um, but yeah, put it on your radar. This thing really doesn't look bad at all. Just look at it this way. You just broke out from this inverse and shoulders pattern at the same time. If you just extend this over here, massive inverse head and shoulders pattern, guys. If you broke out, you're probably coming straight to this 97 level. You uh, did not get it, but uh, you did get 9404. So that's something right there. Microsoft, this is another one. I got my alerts hit. All right. People think it's stupid. All right. You can think an indicator is not going to work. Uh, it doesn't matter, guys. There's usually panic that brings price, you know, these these oscillators, these momentum oscillators, guys, they typically like to stay in bullish territory. They get into bearish territory. It's usually from, like, panic. So, you know, on, although maybe sometimes stuff isn't going to work if the market is actually crashing and something broke, but, you know, uh, I remember, you know, the whole, you could have bought the Russia invasion back in, back, way back in the day. And, um, I, I'm pretty sure the market got bought up after that. And like, it was kind of the same thing that's going on. And I'm not saying like, this isn't a reason to be super, you know, like, oh, that sucks. But, you know, in reality, you know, when people are panic selling, that's typically the time you're going to see things that we've been calling out here on the channel. Like this, VIX is up here. That's why we're getting a lot of volatility, by the way. VIX is all the way up here. All right. But uh, RSI was at 70. We're looking for a VIX crush from down there. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm... You know, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, over here, Microsoft was here right at support. I actually think I uh, point this out. I think I point this out over here earlier. Ah, currently at support in the four hour RSI is at the same spot. 4.15, we called it out. All right, not too much of a bounce. Um, but yeah, I think this thing's probably gonna at least come up here and test 420. So there's that. All right. That, uh, Boom. There you go. All right. Next one we are going to look at is Amazon, guys. All right. Amazon is another one that I'm just going to point to the weekly chart. This thing is a fresh all time high. If it does, if we get, you know, the scenario we talked about where uh, we're just going to come back over here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're doing a lot of switching, but you know, all this, everything ties together that we talk about here in these videos, by the way. And oh, look at that. We're bouncing back. Uh, but yeah, if you, we do get the scenario where we come down here, we're going to get mega buying opportunities on all of this, which is why I do recommend just buying time. I'm using the May 17 expiration for, you know, most of what I want to do, unless the premiums are just like choose, like some, the name like SMCI or, you know, Meta. All right. For earnings, uh, there's that, you know, Diz, I think this is a, probably a solid buy on this dip. Microsoft, I thought that was a solid buy. All right. A lot of these things just looks like, you know, that they, they, they've had momentum they're probably gonna we don't have you know a reason to crash if VIX is up here it's gonna crush if all these things you know have are in the same spots where they normally bounce we're probably gonna get that bounce all right a lot of confluence that's all i'm pointing to and that's pretty much it guys Come over here yes you're finding buyers down here you have this four hour bullish divergence right there off of your support this you know you can really turn this into a demand zone a little something like that there you go. Over here to NQ. Same look as QQQ. All right, guys, but that's what I got for you. I'm looking for a further bounce. With that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.